Hey guys, just got the kids to bed and I'm about to whip up a really quick dinner and I wanted to show you guys. So it's beef bolognese and I don't show you guys beef recipes that much. So I'm excited to show this to you and then just decide a quick sauteed vegetables. So here we go. Let's get dinner on the table. So first we're gonna get our beef going. I am going to cook a little bit of onion, tablespoon of butter, olive oil, a little bit of onion. Then I'm gonna add this garlic, but garlic will burn. So you have to start the onion first. So I'm gonna start this once it starts cooking up and getting a little translucent, I'm gonna add the garlic and then our beef. While the onion and garlic are cooking, I'm a, I got my water going for my spaghetti. This is my favorite spaghetti brand, Jovial. They make great gluten-free brown rice pasta. Just added the red meat. I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna add garlic salt, regular salt, and some pepper. First step of our tomato sauce, organic diced tomatoes. Pouring into a blender. I'm just gonna blend these up and then put them in a pot. Okay, great, into the pot we go. To our blended tomatoes, I'm gonna add a clove of minced garlic, salt, and pepper, and let it cook down so it gets a little bit thicker. My meat's cooking. This is boiling, I'm gonna put the spaghetti in. Right when the meat goes from pink to brown, we're gonna pour it through a strainer to get all of the fat out. And then we're just gonna put this right back into the pan. We're just gonna let that sit until the sauce has reduced a little bit and thickened up. Then we just add it to the sauce and our bolognese is done. Now we got our vegetables cooking while the meat's resting, waiting for the sauce, the spaghetti's cooking. A little bit of butter, olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so it kind of steams itself in here. I'm gonna add salt, pepper, cover it, and let all the vegetables just kind of steam a little bit. So a little thing about the sauce and why I like doing, using diced tomatoes is because a lot of people will just throw red meat into just bottles marinara sauce and it really doesn't taste as good. Using just the diced tomatoes, or better yet, fresh tomatoes, but hello, I'm a mom of two and a lot of us don't have time. This is way better and tastes really, really good and it tastes homemade. So this is midway point here. Vegetables are cooking. Just added a little bit more salt. Beef is waiting to go into our sauce and our spaghetti's almost done and then dinner will be ready. Spaghetti is done. Right when you put it into the colander, you wanna add a little bit of butter and olive oil. With brown rice gluten-free pasta, you have to be really careful with how much you handle it because it'll break. And even though I love this brand and it's the best I've found, you still have to be really, really delicate with it. So I'm gonna let this, whoopsie. Gonna move the butter around a little bit and be really delicate. I'm also gonna sprinkle it with salt. And then this is ready to plate and then I'll put the sauce on top of it. Perfect. So the vegetables, you wanna make sure there's a little bit of resistance. Perfect. Okay, this is perfect. So these are all ready to go. Our sauce is finished. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add our red meat. Mix it up gently. I'm gonna put the flame back on. I'm gonna heat it up and let the flavors kind of meld for a couple of minutes and then we are ready to plate. Dinner is served. 
I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one, and I'll see you guys soon. Good night.